Greetings all, Shane Bruce, Rest of my Daisy, with yet another Hail and Farewell video. I like Hail and Farewell videos because it means the job got done. What we're looking at today is a Resto Mod Model 94 Daisy Carbine. Not a Red Rider. Not a Red Rider, but a Model 94. So it's got all the keen, neat Model 94 features. The factory flip peep here, just above the trigger group. Get a look at that because this one's set up now as a peep sight, but you can flip it down by loosening this small screw and turn it into a buckhorn. It's a resto mod peep, so we've enlarged the peep sight hole to make it a little bigger so you can pick up the front sight a little bit better. Now, to complement this really neat windage and elevation adjustable rear sight, let's run down the front of the muzzle and take a look at the hook front sight. That's also a cool feature. It's the only daisy that has this particular type of front sight blade. Sooner or later, I'm going to figure out how to get a piece of fiber optic mounted on that so it looks integral to the original design. Haven't achieved it yet, but it's on the wish list. It's on the tomorrow file. Let's back up and take a look at the buttstock. This is a set of Slim Jim uh, stocks. It's a single plank stock, so it's not real thick, but it's got a very exaggerated wrist. And it's got this really nice little curve up here at the front. Now, on to some of the mechanicals. This gun is equipped with the Restomod Flex Lever. It's designed to accommodate the gun and your hand by slipping inside the, uh, inside the leather loop. It'll give you some bite, wide bite on the lever when you close it. Because this gun is equipped with a sliding spring block. No, it's not. It's a standard spring block. Pardon me. Didn't want an SSB, but we've got a Cobalt 327 in it and a 7, 764 overbore ear tube and this flex lever. Now, we fabricate this whole unit here at Restomod. This is something we build and uh, just changed up our attachment points. We used to do this with QD sling swivels, but now we use heavy gauge hammered copper wire. I think it's a better look overall for the gun fits nicely. Flex levers, they're cool. Now, moving on to the four stock. This is a more than full length uh, tapered four stock. I really like the way these balance with the guns. Uh, I think that the, uh, the front taper gives you an interesting profile on the bottom of the piece. And it just looks really nice. It feels good when you shoulder the gun. Lots of fun to shoot. The last thing we did with the gun, if I can keep it on the stance, the last thing we did with the gun, of course, was to, let's run down to the muzzle. It does have the Model 25 50 round spring-loaded shot tube. And the cool thing about this piece, the way it's set up, because it has a larger diameter compression uh, cylinder uh, than the 111 Model 40, this is actually the same size compression cylinder internals as the Red Rider. This little guy with a high power spring and a overbore air tube and the Model 25 bag can do about 328 on average. Now, I got a feeling that speed's gonna go up as the gun gets shot more. And of course, uh, as with all resto mods, it has a steel butt plate and it's fire blued like the rest of the gun. So, we're gonna miss it. It's been a beaut, but it's gotta go home. So, this is Shane Bruce with Resto Mod Daisy, signing off.